so, so long as we lead, there is hope for everyone. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on keeping on. Oh, I keep on keeping, keep, keep on, on going, going. keeping keep on. on. Hey, so long as we lead, there's hope for everyone. Kasu ana kasu. We're gonna be there are so young, son, so Hey, I just want to hear. Just say we're brave, we're copa. Better when he. Shame on me, I don't know what for. And no ra, and no ra, and then you are just so to me, yeah, baby. The cook was so yeah, just there. So we just want na wa pa ba. Better when he. Shame on me, I And no ray, and no ray. And then you watch the sun to me, ya pe. Kuko so ya jechile. Se wuche mwa na wapaba. Keja wendi. Shenga me. Oya no kwa. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Amen. Powerful. God bless. Father, bless our offerings in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. Amen. It's very strange that Ghana is only the old songs that still has the anointing. It's very, very sad. Amen. Am I saying the truth? Yeah. All the songs that came for the past five years coming, I don't know where the anointings are. Amen. Am I saying the truth? Yeah. I didn't say it. You said it yourself. The old songs are powerful. By the grace of God, our next level conference, all of them are coming. Every old timer who is powerful is coming. Amen. Minister OJ is coming live and colored. Hallelujah. He's going to be powerful. Whoever you want to be here, they are coming. Amen. Who again that you want to be here? Who? Yao Sapon. Who again? Daughters. Okay. Who again? Adam Reku. Okay. Who again? Tego Sisters. Okay. Who again? Hannah Mafon. Sidney Thompson. Who? Fire. Okay, who again? Who? Sack. And who again, brother Sammy? And Nesto Poku. And who again? Nanaya Sapo. Or no man Kuma. Or only Wayera. You who know. Amen. Maintaining come by Biada. What? Oh, the number. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, you can agree about it, but the old songs are always powerful. It's very strange. I don't know why. The recent ones, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Amen. I think very soon I'm supposed to bring out an album. Amen. Amen. Because many people say, I know how to sing, right? Amen. 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 But right now, Ghana, they don't buy CD. Amen. Amen. So if you go and make any music, maybe if you were YouTube, amen. amen. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Amen. amen. Power of Worship International. Amen. How many people have been enjoying the fasting so far? Amen. amen. God bless you all. Last night was so amazing. And today is very powerful. Amen. Um, today, what was our prayer point? Today, our prayer point. Today, the 17th, 16th or 17th day. 17th day. So today it's about generational curses. 
We counseled every generation of kids in Jesus' name. And now we have only four days to go. Tell your neighbor, finish hard. Um, the, um, tomorrow will be prayer for transport, transportation safety. And the next day will be prayer against terrorism, health workers and hospitals. And the last day, which is on Sunday, will be thanksgiving for answered prayers. Amen. This 21 days, may God give us testimony in Jesus' name. Friday, we have our powerful all night. Exactly by nine, we are here. Make sure you are here. Our all night, make sure you come early so that you can get a good place to sit. And it's going to be very powerful. Amen. It's called Good News All Night. Good News All Night. And our next level conference, you know, everybody take off. Take leave. Wherever you work, take leave. Because it's going to be very, very powerful. I'm telling you, for real, for real, we've prayed into it. We're still praying into it. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, today is a very special day because we have a guest preacher all the way from Sierra Leone. Amen. <laughs> a guest preacher all the way from Sierra Leone. He's a Ghanaian, but from Sierra Leone. You understand? He's a Ghanaian, but from Sierra Leone. He lives in Sierra Leone. He has a church in Sierra Leone. Amen. And it's in Ghana. And I always tell you that you need to complement different anointings together. And God brings different individuals for different reasons and for different purposes and assignments. When I was away, all the people who came to church, God bless you. Amen. Because you don't know the speaker who God has your answer in their mouth. All your answers can never be from Prophet Daniel's mouth. For that one, I can guarantee you. It's only when you think you are, you are, you are Goliath that you think all the answers are in your mouth. No. I'm a man of God. Yeah, I'm a prophet. Yes, I'm a global prophet. Yes, but all your answers are not in my mouth. God can put your answer in somebody's mouth. Amen. So you're supposed to appreciate and respect every anointing that stands in front of you. The same way you, you will expect and um, appreciate and respect every anointing on me. Anybody who comes to stand here, even if it's a little child at the age of two years, you, you've got to obey because God can use anybody at all. Amen. All the people who came to church when I traveled, clap your hands for yourself. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then tomorrow is going to be very powerful. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are not here. Saturday, rest. This morning, many people came in the morning to come and pray. God bless you. And I know you have been anointed. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we have a great man of God all the way from Sierra Leone and from his church. The name of his church is very strange because um, the church name is like a football team. Amen. The church name is like a football team. So unfortunately, all the people who oppose that football team will be upset. Amen. But all the football supporters of that particular team, this season, they are very happy. Why? Because the one who has sat on them is leaving them. Amen. I'm talking about Asna for God. Amen. Is it Asna for Christ? <laughs> Asna of God. Amen. Clap your hands and let's invite Pastor Philip all the way from Sierra Leone. Asna for Christ. Asna for God. Amen. Clap your hands to the name of God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, tonight we thank you, Lord. We have every reason to appreciate you for how far you have brought us. Lord, tonight I can't speak for you. You can speak for yourself. I'm only a vessel. Pass through me, O oh Lord, and declare your word to your people. Bless us, Father. Demonstrate yourself through your word. May your name be glorified tonight. I bless you. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together once again for Jesus as you take your seat. Tonight, I want to appreciate God for this opportunity given to me to be here. And I want to thank God for the life of the prophet. Let me tell you this for free. I've monitored his life without him knowing. The first time he came to Sierra Leone, I went to the program that I was sitting at the back. I did not introduce myself to him. Bishop Cole invited him 
I was at the program. Even the Sunday I was there. I didn't introduce myself to him. This time around when he went, I decided to introduce myself because he's unique. You know the reason why I love him so much? I've met a lot of prophets without the word of God. But your prophet has the word. <laughs> he has the revelational word of God. I used to tell people, Bible, you know, it's, 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 it's not just a book. A lot of people just preach Bible, they just preach the word of God to people. But when you have the revelational word of God, it carries power. And your prophet has this. Oh, you didn't put your hands together. When you are sitting down and he's preaching, you will enjoy the word. Hallelujah. People of God, one of the things, let me tell you this. Let me give this testimony about the prophet this morning, uh, tonight. The day I met you, prophet, I want to say this testimony before I proceed to preach. God laid on my heart to do something. I did it. When I was about to come, I was having some few challenges about my coming financially. Prophet, the day I did that thing, <laughs> there's a woman I'm praying for in Sierra Leone for security reason. The woman just called me. Apostle, when are you going? I said, uh, I'll fix my date, but I'm just believing God for my ticket. He said, don't worry. I'll buy the ticket. She bought the ticket. Not only buying the ticket, he said, I have some money with you, some dollars. I will not tell you how much. <laughs> he said, take this when you go. You can just sort yourself out. People of God, he is a man of God. And not that alone. When I, the, the, the week I came, I visited this church. And I came, they were raising some money for the land. My wife, at that time, was pregnant. And it's like, the first labor was not easy. We went to Kolebu, a lot of things, complications. So this time around, I said, I told God, I said, I'm going to sow the seed. If this man of God is a real man of God, do something that my wife would deliver seed. I did that thing on Sunday. Saturday, my early in the morning, my wife began to complain. My, 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 my stomach, I took her to the hospital. Less than 30 minutes. <laughs> she delivered. And less than two hours, they discharged us. It's a living testimony. People of God, can you help me? Let's celebrate the man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Even what is said here. Prophet, I humble myself more. You are the man of God. Not every man of God or a prophet will use his pulpit and say, your answers is not in my mouth. All your answers is not in my mouth. I've been in ministry since 1995 full time. I know what I'm saying. All men of God want to secure their pulpit. They will never say that kind of thing prophet said, said here. That is what tells me that he's a real man of God. And he's, he's, he's too humble. He's too humble. You have a genuine man of God. You have a genuine prophet. And I've made up my mind anywhere I found myself. Apart from this year, any, any other program, big program you have, I'll be in Ghana. Amen. Let me tell you something. Prophet is a man of God. He's a prophet of God. Let me tell you about myself. Any program I'm doing which falls on number seven, things normally happens. In my family, 
I'm the, I'm the seventh born. Hallelujah. And I was born in 70, 72. My first born was born seventh month. My second born was born last month on the seventh. So number seven is a unique number in my life. And today is the 17th day of this program. And not that alone. You know, the reason why I admire prophet. First May, which is a holy day. Some pastors want to do things their own way. But he decided the first May to hand over his pulpit. People of God, let's celebrate him once again. Before I proceed, I think prophet was saying the name of my ministry. Anywhere I go, when I mention the name, they will say, it's a football man. I say, no, no, no. It's a name. Asna is a name. And the name, the meaning of that name says it's, it's an armory. If you go to the book of Jeremiah 50, 25, he said, and I'll open my Asna. It's, it's like a, where, a warehouse. So it is Arsenal of God. Ministries International. <laughs> Hallelujah. But tonight, people of God, I want to minister. God has given me a word for somebody tonight. And I will stand on the wings of the prophet in the house. And I'm going to prophesy in the name of Jesus. I will declare, people of God, a change is coming. A change is coming. Can you open your Bible with me to the book of John? The book of John, quickly. 11, 1 to 4. Are you there? If you there, say amen. He said, I read. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Two, this Mary, whose brother Lazarus was laying sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. Three, so the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. Four, when Jesus heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. So that God's son may be glorified through it. Let me go 11 to 17. No, 17 to 21. 17 to 21, he said, on his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the grave, in the tomb for seven for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. 19. And many Jews had come to Mary and Martha to comfort them in the loss of their brother. 20. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. It is dangerous to stay at home. Tell somebody it is dangerous to stay at home. 21. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. I have come to declare a word of title when Jesus showed forth. Oh, you didn't say amen. When Jesus showed forth, People of God, I have done my research and I never found out a place when Jesus showed forth and nothing happens. Anywhere Jesus showed forth in the scriptures, something must happen. And one of the things I've come to find out, many a times, Jesus will never do things man can do. 
Because if he does what man can do, it doesn't glorify him. It doesn't make news. Can I talk to somebody? People of God, this is a story of a family who love Jesus. They have spent their resources on Jesus. They have spent their time with Jesus. The word of God says they love Jesus so much. And they knew what Jesus could do. They know everything about Jesus. They have been walking with Jesus. Many a times, even those who don't love Jesus, Jesus heals them. So they were expecting that when it is their turn, Jesus will come. So when their brother was sick, they sent a man said to Jesus, and they said, the one you love is sick. How can the one you love get sick? And we call you. You refuse to come. I want you to stand up and talk to five people. And tell them, if he did not show up yesterday, doesn't mean that he will not show up. <laughs> you may expect him to come yesterday. You may expect him to come last year. But you did not see him. You may expect him to come last four years. But he did not show forth. I have come to announce to somebody. That he will come on your way. Jesus is going to show forth. I have come to find out that the reason why certain things are still going on in your life. Is because he hasn't showed forth yet. The reason why certain things are still going on in your life is because he hasn't shown forth yet. But wait tonight, Jesus will show forth. Oh, am I talking to somebody? I said tonight, Jesus will show forth. So many times I used to tell people, wait for his own time, not your time. Because normally what I've come to find out, your own time doesn't bring glory to God, but his own time. Imagine the most painful thing in life is when you know that somebody is capable of doing something for you. Then the person refused. They knew Jesus. They know the abilities of Jesus. They have been with him, seeing him healing people. But when it comes to their turn, the one they love, they spend their money, they spend their time, you remember even the Bible says the one who poured her perfume on the feet of Jesus. The Bible is trying to let you know the kind of person we are talking about here. But people of God, I've come to announce to you, Jesus is coming your way. Jesus will show forth at the end of these 21 days. You will see Jesus coming your way. Jesus will show forth in your house. He will show forth in your life. So the time they were expecting Jesus to come, Jesus did not come. And the Bible says even Bethany was not far from Jerusalem. Tell somebody standing by you, sitting by you, Jesus is not far from you. You know, many at times when you are going through certain things, you ask yourself, where is Jesus? Where is the one you have been suffering yourself for? Many a times when you are going through certain things, you ask yourself this question. Where is he? The one I'm spending my money. I remember Martha. When the time he sees Jesus, he will, she will open her door for Jesus. She will prepare food for Jesus. So they were asking, where is he? Where is he? Jesus did not show forth at the time they were expecting him. And the man died. Even when the man died, Jesus did not show forth. If it is you, you will say this man is an opportunist. <laughs> you will leave church. Yes, prophet. <laughs> you will leave church. They will say, Jesus, he's an opportunist. Shedi ya pray, he won't. He has said, he's sicker. 
Listen to me. Martha says something. He said, Jesus, if you would have been here, our brother wouldn't have died. What suggests to me is wherever Jesus is, death doesn't have power. Certain things are still going on in your life because Jesus hasn't shown forth yet. He said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. It means they were accusing Jesus that you are the one who caused our brother to die. People of God, the Bible says this young man died. The one Jesus loved, the one who loved Jesus. Do you know the reason why? People of God, I've come to find out that Jesus will never show forth in a situation where a man can do something. Can I talk to somebody? Can I preach to somebody like the way I want to? I said, Jesus will never show forth in a place where man can do something. He will wait till when the situation is out of hands. Read the scriptures, all the miracles Jesus performed. And these people say, there's no way again. Read it. You will never see Jesus until there is impossibilities. I've come to speak to somebody tonight. I say, let me, let me say it again. You will never see Jesus until you reach a place when it is impossible to man. Then he, he will show forth. You remember what Jesus said? He said, it is for the glory of the Father so that the Son of Man will be made glorified. You do know what that means? It means God normally takes glory in the lives of those he loves. So at times, certain things will happen to those who love God and they will ask, why me? Because God wants to take glory in your life. Amen. The only way God can glorify himself in your life, it is when he allows certain things that is impossible. Do you know, I used to tell people, if Jesus would have come at the time when Lazarus was sick, it would not even make news. Because if somebody is sick and get well, it doesn't make news. When somebody is sick, doctor can heal. So when you are sick, you get well. It doesn't make news. So at times Jesus will wait till the situation is out of his. When his own people said, this man, there's nothing you can do with him again. God, one day God was telling me, he said, my son, the only way you can see me, read the Bible, the only time you will see God when he creates issue that is impossible. When the people of Israel were traveling, they never knew the kind of God they were serving until the time they reached the rest. Then God showed himself. <laughs> he said, I'm trying to do this so that they will know can you know God when there is no impossibility in your life? People of God, I pray that tonight Jesus will show forth. I say, I pray that tonight. Let, let me tell you this for free. <laughs> At times when you love God, it is only that time God will try to take honor in certain things in your life. <laughs> they say, Jesus, the one you love is sick. Come. You did it for somebody yesterday. You did it for even somebody who doesn't follow you. How much more? Me. I spend my perfume on you. I know you will come. <laughs> and to their surprise, Jesus did not show forth. When the man died, they were expecting him at least. We know that in Ghana, we love the dead. When you have a problem with somebody, as soon as the person dies, you will go there. Hallelujah. 
When the person is sick, you will not help. But as soon as the person die, you will see them there. So they were saying, oh, if Jesus did not come at the time he was sick, we know that when he died, he will come. And to their surprise, and also one see her. Hallelujah. <laughs> tell somebody he's after something. Oh my God. I want you to talk to 10 people and tell them that Jesus is after something. <laughs> so the Bible says, <laughs> after they bury him, after they bury him, Jesus waited until all the Jews came together. Sitting down. Some of them were talking. Where is that man? You have been spending your money on. You hear what they said? So this man wouldn't have stopped this man from dying. That is the, 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 what they were saying. When they were comforting Mary and Martha. They were, they were asking. Where is that man? You see, we're telling you about this man. You see, he disappointed people. When they were talking, there's somebody running, came to Mata. He said, Mata, he is coming. <laughs> let, let me give you this. Let me tell you something. You know the reason why I love your prophet? That is the area God is using when it comes to revelation and knowledge of God. Ask all my friends, they know me about that. So when I saw him, my spirit creaked with him. When, what, Bishop, Bishop Course, when they are dedicating the building, you came, he said something about when <laughs> uh, uh, Peter caught the uh, uh, of Marcus. And you gave some revelation. And I said, wow, this man is loaded. <laughs> People of God, the Bible says they were sitting that morning weeping. Then a man came in. He called Martha. He said, Martha, he is coming. He said, Who? Jesus. People of God, I am that man. Because when I was coming, I saw Jesus coming your way. So I just come in to inform you that he's coming. Oh, if you believe, shout and say, yeah. <laughs> if you believe, says he's coming for me. So the Bible said, Jesus, when he was coming, he, did, he hadn't reached the town yet. But somebody came and informed Martha. Martha ran to meet him. You know that you are coming, you are too late. The time we were expecting you. He did not, did, let me shock you something. They knew Jesus to be a healer. But they don't know the other side of Jesus. Yeah. They knew Jesus to be a healer. But they don't know him to be somebody who can resurrect the dead. So Jesus said, I am about to show my other side. Can I talk to somebody? Oh my God. You don't know him yet. You don't know him yet. He's about to show his other side. In your life. If you believe, say yes. The other side of him. You only know him to be a healer. And the said, Martha said, if you'd have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Oh my God. My brother wouldn't have died. So Jesus said, don't worry. He will come. I say, I know, I know. You are talking about the resurrection. People of God, we call the story short. The Bible said, at that time Mary was there. So, Somebody went and Martha, Martha went and said, tell Ma Mary, the man has come. So he went. She went to join him. Yeah. So after they discussed, when they were discussing, he asked them, where have you laid him? 
Jesus was waiting for them to condemn their own brother. Jesus was waiting for them to say, oh, it is too late. So Martha said, there's nothing you can do about this situation again. We know that he will resurrect later than now. It is too late. People of God, maybe you have given up in life. Because the time you were expecting him to come, he did not show forth. The time you have been waiting for him, you have been calling him. The thing did not happen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I remember when I got married, there was an issue. Children, it was not easy. We prayed, prayed, prayed. I prayed for people. They received miracle for so many years. One day, I was in Saturday. Oh God, he gave me a message. He said, my son, it must be now. God said, go. Have communion with your wife. Oh my God. I, I, I bought a ticket. Prophet, I came to Ghana. That night, I had communion with my wife. I'm talking about this communion. So when I finish, I, I'm not talking about the other one. Though. I'm talking about the communion. Then after, after we took the communion, we did the other one. And the same month, I said the same month, my wife took it. And do you know something? After she delivered, one and a half years, I score again. People of God, let me tell you something. There are certain things in your life. You, may, you ask God, you pray, you did everything. But he did not see Jesus. And you have given up. You said this one, it is too late. Remember the Bible says, when Jesus said, where have you laid him? Martha said, Master, it has been four days now. And anybody who died three days, you have started, you know, thinking. So, they said, it is too late. The guy is now smelling from the mouth of his own sister. Condemning his own brother. That my brother is nobody again. My brother, there's nothing my brother can do again. People of God, anything you have lost in life. Can I prophesy to somebody? I stand in the, on the wings of the prophet in the house. And I prophesy over your life. Anything you have lost in life. Anything that made you to cry. So now Jesus is going to show forth. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, you say, yes, I believe. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Jesus said, don't worry. I just want you to show me where you have led him. Let me shock you here. <laughs> One of the things when I was reading the Bible, you know that when Lazarus died, when they were crying, people were calling his name. Lazarus! Lazarus! Lazarus did not mind them. But as soon as the Messiah came, oh my God, hey, Jesus will never show forth in your case for you to remain the same. When Jesus show forth, it doesn't matter the state of your situation. It will change. So when Jesus suffered, Jesus only called the name of Lazarus once. Let me tell you something. They may decide not to hear your voice. They may decide not to listen to you. But nobody can resist the voice of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Lazarus died, the brothers and the sisters, everybody around were calling his name. And Lazarus did not answer. But as soon as Lazarus heard the voice of the master, Messiah, the word of God, and the Bible said the one who was dead, came back to life. I don't know how long your situation has been. I don't know what people have been saying about your condition. 
the brothers of Lazarus say, the man is no body again. There is nothing he can do again. But when Jesus came to the scene, people of God, I've come to announce to somebody, let men condemn you. Jesus will not show forth unto men condemns you. Can I talk to somebody? Jesus will never step in until men condemns you. To cut the story short, the Bible says there was a, two mad men. One day Jesus was in the other side doing the gospel, preaching the gospel to the crowd. One day he told the disciples, he said, let's go to the other side. And do you know the other side, there were two mad men. They have captured one environment. And the Bible said no one can, can go there. That place has become no go area. The Bible said when they try to chain the man, they will break the chains. No one could con con control them. But do you know something? There are certain issues are still going on in your life because Jesus hasn't shown forth yet. Certain demons think they are too powerful. But wait till Jesus show forth. When Jesus hasn't come into the scene, the demons thought they were powerful and everybody was afraid to come close to them. But the Bible says when Jesus crossed over to the other side, he began to walk towards these demons. And when they saw Jesus coming, they ran. And they kneel before him. Can I speak? Can I prophesy? Any demon that has been terrorizing your life. Any demon that has been terrorizing your family, your company. I speak in the name of Jesus. May they bow. Because Jesus will show forth tonight. I said Jesus is going to show forth tonight. When Jesus shows forth, your situation will change. Amen. Let me tell you this. I have come to notice, prophet. You remember the woman with the issue of blood? Do you know the reason why Jesus did not show forth earlier? Because the faith of the woman was still in the doctors. Can I talk to somebody? The reason why Jesus did not show forth earlier on was because the faith of the woman was still in the doctors. After doctors failed he, her, doctor couldn't help her. Then he heard, she heard that Jesus was passing. Jesus will never show forth in certain situations when you are confident is still in men. Say we did yet that so on Nipa Mua. Yes, or Yakra Nipa Bepanuminam. Obina now say, Send Kawan Yakra and Kawebe. He will leave it till you don't have any option again. The woman with the issue of blood. She did everything. She spent everything. Doctors to doctors. The half money. When the thing started, say, let me go to South Africa. The woman was in Ghana. She, she tried Kolebu and others said, oh, this place is no good. I'm going to South Africa. She went to her South Africa. Did not work. She said, let me go to England. England, I didn't know. Let me go to US. Because she was having money. She said, Sierra Leone. Ghana, Ghana is better than Sierra Leone. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> After that woman spent everything, the Bible said, instead of the issue to be better, it was worse. When she heard that Jesus was passing, people of God, when Jesus showed forth, it doesn't matter how long your situation has taken. When Jesus suffered, I said, when Jesus suffered, 
When Jesus suffered, when Jesus suffered, when Jesus suffered, your situation will change. Your story will change. When Jesus suffered, you will wipe away your tears. Your Jesus suffered. Every weeping will turn to dancing. If you believe me, say yes. When Jesus showed forth, there's a man at the pool of Bethesda. The Bible said 38 years struggling, <laughs> trying to be better. The man was depending on his own strength. And his own strength couldn't help him. He said, when I'm trying to get into, somebody will go ahead of me. I'm talking about the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm talking about when Jesus appeared. So the Bible says one day, as usual, the man came sitting down, as usual. He saw a man coming towards him. <laughs> People of God, Jesus will show forth tonight. Things that don't used to work. Your prayer tonight is Jesus show forth. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the man was sitting down. <laughs> Jesus walked to the man when there was nobody. Never walk towards you when people are still around you. At times, Jesus will never come close when you still have people who will assist you. There were a lot of people at the pool, but why did Jesus went to the man? Because the man was not having anybody. Until people gave up on you, Jesus will never step in. people of God. The Bible says Jesus asked the man do you want to be healed? Do you want to walk again? The man said hey, if I don't want to walk, can I leave my house to come and stay here? Some questions when they ask you if you don't have heart. <laughs> and they say I don't have anybody. I have no man. The case Jesus won. When you don't have anybody, when you have somebody, he will not come. Because when you have somebody, when Jesus intervenes, you will not know it. You won't value it. So the Bible says, Jesus suffered. And the word of God says, Jesus said, You are not going. You, are, you will not go through the, the procedure. People used to go through. And when Jesus showed for he breaks protocol. <laughs> Do you know that Jesus has broken the protocol? That is why your prophet is prophetic today. When Jesus showed for he will not use the normal way. Tell you I preached a message last night. I told them that the protocol must be broken. When Jesus intervened, he would not use the normal procedure. So Jesus said, everybody go through this procedure. But you, you will not go even to go into the water. You remember Esther? The same way, when Esther, well, I, I thought him as planned that evil. At that time, Haman planned evil to extend that Esther cannot do anything because he can't go before the king. It is against the, the, the norms. But he said, I will pray and I will go. Though it is against the, the norms, it is against the rules. I will break the protocol. I hear God telling me and I stand in the wings of your prophets in the house. And I speak in the name of Jesus. Every protocol that is limiting you. 
every protocol that is stopping you from going forward. May the Lord break that protocol. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. May those protocols be broken in the name of Jesus. If you believe, why can't you shout and say, yeah. The same thing God did. When God shuffled off, when God shuffled off in the protocols of the Jews, David was not qualified. David was not among those. You know, I was telling people that those days, before you become a king, you must become a soldier. Because those days they were fighting. So you can never become a king without being a soldier. That is why the father of David took his three brothers to go, to, to go and join the army. So that it would give them access to become kings. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray. I don't know why I'm saying this. May the Lord break every protocol. Anything they say, it is not possible. Because you are not qualified. May Jesus suffer. I say, may Jesus suffer. Tonight, may Jesus suffer. Hallelujah. I am talking about Jesus coming to the scene. Martha said, Jesus, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Certain things can never happen when Jesus is around. And certain things, Jesus allows them to happen for a purpose. People of God, tonight, I want you to know that what you are going through tonight, it is for his glory. Like some of you, if it is, it didn't allow these challenges in your life, you never really know Jesus. By now, you'll be busy somewhere. <laughs> Can I talk to somebody? Hallelujah. You'll be too busy. Some of you, if the delay did not come, you will not even look at the house of God. Am I right or left? Oh, talk to me. Am I left or right? But Jesus must allow certain things to happen so that he will get your attention. I'm talking to a man here. What you are going through, it is for his glory. I say what you are going through, it is for his glory. But I hear God saying, I am coming on your way. I am coming on your way. I am coming on your way. To cut the story short, Mary and Martha were crying because they lost somebody. They lost somebody. They lost somebody. And Jesus came. What they have lost came back to life. So they were weeping. They were crying. Jesus wiped away their tears. Those who have been talking against you, Asking you, where is your God? Where is the God of Prophet Amwati? Where is the God of Prophet Daniel? You have been going there. What is happening? May God prove to them in the name of Jesus. Tonight, may Jesus prove to them. I remember when the Jews came to Mary and Martha, they were asking them, Where is that Jesus you people were following? Where is that Jesus? Could he help you? So the Bible says, in the process of talking too much, Jesus showed forth. Tonight, may Jesus show forth. Be on your feet, may Jesus show forth. As you are living in the presence of God, I pray that may Jesus show forth in your life. May Jesus show forth in the situation. May Jesus show forth in that condition. May Jesus show forth in your family. Let me shock you this. As I end. Sometimes anywhere Jesus show forth, he doesn't show forth for all. Are you getting me? Anywhere Jesus show forth, 
At times, it is not for all. There were a lot of people in Bethany. But at that particular time, Jesus showed forth for a particular family. Why? I'm coming. Why? He showed forth to the family who had some commitment towards him. What commitment do you have towards Jesus that will cause him to come into your aid? What have you done for him? There were a lot of families there. But this Jesus did not show forth. He entered into that family and everything about the family changed. Hallelujah. People of God, I don't know about you. I want to take something in my hand. Because if I have certain things, I'm all Jesus to show forth. As I'm praying today, you say, Jesus, show forth. Take something in your hand. I will not mention any amount. Take it. As I take my own. Sister, brother, Jesus met me about her. But Obeba, oh, I'm going to particular thing. I was saying we are Dibia, Ebema, Jesus. Obeja will be a no about her. Lift it up. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand when all. The ground is sick and sick. Power of Worship International presents Next Level Conference with anointed pastors, prophets, and ministers. Samson Amoatin, Brian Amoatin, Pascal Amanfo, Abena Brigidi, and your host, Daniel Amoatin. And, and people are calling your name. And they're saying, Deborah. Deborah. What was your name? Deborah. It is your time for repositioning. Be at the right place at the right time from the 27th May to 3rd of June 2018 at 6 p.m. daily, 9 p.m. on Friday 1st of June and 8 a.m. on Sunday 3rd of June. Venue, Spintex Road, Batsona Basket Bus Stop, behind Goyle Filling Station, Accra, Ghana. Call the numbers on the screen for more information. Come and be positioned for your next level. See you there. Sister, brother, who name you enter? Scripture no ofi asi no. O can name ma mikrofon aye. And some of these stories too are. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand when all on the ground is sinking sand. Power of Worship International presents Next Level Conference with anointed pastors, prophets, and ministers. Samson Amoatin. Brian Amoatin, Pascal Amanfo, Abena Brigidi, and your host, Daniel Amoatin. And, and people are calling your name. And they're saying, Deborah. Deborah. What was your name? Deborah. Come. It is your time for repositioning. Be at the right place at the right time. From the 27th May to 3rd of June 2018 at 6 p.m. daily. 9 p.m. on Friday 1st of June and 8 a.m. on Sunday 3rd of June. Venue, Spintex Road, Batsona Basket Bus Stop. Behind Goyle Filling Station, Accra, Ghana. Call the numbers on the screen for more information. Come and be positioned for your next level. See you there. The solid rock I stand when all on the ground is sinking sand. Power of Worship International presents Next Level Conference with anointed pastors, prophets, and ministers. 
Samson Amoatin, Brian Amoatin, Pascal Amanfo, Abena Brigitte, and your host, Daniel Amoatin. And, and people are calling your name and they're saying, Deborah, Deborah, what was your name? Deborah. Come. It is your time for repositioning. Be at the right place at the right time. From the 27th, May to 3rd of June, 2018 at 6 p.m. daily. 9 p.m. on Friday, 1st of June and 8 a.m. on Sunday, 3rd of June. Venue, Spintex Road, Batsona Basket Bus Stop. Behind Goyle Filling Station, Accra, Ghana. Call the numbers on the screen for more. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand when all on the ground is sinking sand. Power of Worship International presents Next Level Conference with anointed pastors, prophets, and ministers. Samson Amoatin, Brian Amoatin, Pascal Amanfo, Abena Brigitte, and your host, Daniel Amoatin. And, and people are calling your name. And they're saying, Deborah. Deborah. What was your name? Deborah. Come. It is your time for repositioning. Be at the right place at the right time. From the 27th, May to 3rd of June, 2018 at 6 p.m. daily. 9 p.m. on Friday, 1st of June and 8 a.m. on Sunday, 3rd of June. Venue, Spintex Road, Batsona Basket Bus Stop. Behind Goyle Filling Station, Accra, Ghana. Call the numbers on the screen for more information. Come and be positioned for your next level. See you there. Amen. To extend that people will come from all over. Amen. Amen. Because ah. they will say, ah. Jesus has shown forth <laughs> in the power of worship. So we are coming. We are coming. Without going through pains, you can never have praise. Oh, I want to pray with you. Lift up your hands, let me pray with you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, tonight we thank you for your word. We bless you for your word tonight. The word of God says anytime you send forth your word, Jesus. your word will never return to you void. Yes, Lord. But the word will fulfill the purpose. Amen. I pray that Lord, I know that you send this word for somebody here. I pray the Father, may the word perform the purpose that you sent it for. Amen. Bring it to pass, O oh Lord. Amen. Give them stories, t- testimonies. Jesus. Give them testimonies. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this way tonight. Jesus. Do miracles. Amen. So forth. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Those who have been asking, where is their God? So forth. Amen. And put them to shame. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Yes, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes. Oh, somebody clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Oh, somebody, you can clap your hands. Let's clap your hands for the man of God. Very powerful, very powerful. Wow. God bless you, man of God. We really appreciate it. Power forward. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Let's lift up two prayers based on this word. Very powerful. We thank God that every now and then God will bring a new revelation for us to know something new in this word. Most of you from Sunday School 101, you've heard about the story of Lazarus from your infancy, but we've seen something totally different. There are two, two 
um, revelation that dropped on, on to me when he was preaching. The first one was this. The sisters of Lazarus knew that when Jesus is in a place, death is not supposed to be there. You're about to lift up your first prayer. When we speak about death, I'm not just talking about the death of a human being, but the death of your job, your business, your health, your elevation, the death of whatever that belongs to you. There's supposed to be life. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. I thank you for this revelation. I thank you for this revelation. Right now. Right now. I stand on this word. I stand on this word. And I speak. And I speak. Resurrection. Resurrection. In every area. In every area. Of my life. Of my life. Whatever. Whatever. Was there. Was there. Whatever. Whatever. Was killed. Was killed. In my life. In my life. In every area. In every area. Of my life. Of my life. I speak life. I speak life. Now, now, as I clap my hands, as I, clap as I pray, and I pray, somebody receive life. Come to clap and receive life. So forth. May God show up Amen. in your life. Amen. Amen. May God show up in your situation. Amen. Everybody standing here, there's a different area in your life where you want God to show forth. Your own might be totally different from someone's own. Someone's own can be marriage. Someone's own can be finances. Someone's own can be connected to um, health. Lift up your hand. Listen. The area where Jesus is supposed to show. We can't come to fasting and prayers every day for Jesus not to show up. There's an error. Say Jesus. Jesus. Show forth. Show forth. In my case. In my case. That area. That area. Of my life. Of my life. That I need. That I need. A major turn around. A major turn around. Show up. Show up. On my behalf. On my behalf. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, this prayer is not a shouting prayer. You and Randa, you and Jesus, talk to him to for him to show forth. Speak right now. That area, that area, where he's supposed to show forth. That area, that area, that area, that area. Pray right now. Pray right now. Somebody pray. Somebody pray right now. We stand on the word of God. The word of God is our foundation. Based on this word, may Jesus surprise us. May Jesus surprise us. Amen. 
when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, Father, let your glory show forth in the name of Jesus. I declare as a prophet, Father, show up for us. Change some stories. Let people know we are connected to you. We give you praise in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Somebody clap your hands to the name of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. Amen. Power of Super International, the testimony city. God bless everybody for coming. Tomorrow evening we are here. And it's Wednesday as well. Wednesday of the world and welfare of our service. Thursday, Friday all night. And the Friday all night, the seed connected to your good news is the seed of the 50 cities. Don't forget about it. Saturday we are not here. And the grand finale by the grace of God is going to be on Sunday. Amen. God bless everybody. Now pick your water and let's go home. Amen. Pick your water and let's go home. Amen. Pick your water and let's go home. Just sit down, sit down. Every day of this fasting, we bring bottle of water and we pray on it. We drink it, everybody. And uh, Friday, one we do some serious directions on the water, and I don't want you to miss it. Amen. Just open your water. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus. By my water. By my water. Right now. Right now. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Give me life. 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 Drink it. Jesus. Say by my